Everyone wants to be the victim. Hello, this is Shwas on Infinity with your host Chris P. King with a video about victimhood. Victimhood is a very common psychological phenomenon in our society, in our modern societies. And it basically means that everyone wants to be the victim. There's a famous German coach who called it victimaritis. It's it's like a disease, basically. Even real crooks and criminals and psychopaths and murderers, they describe themselves as victims, victims of circumstance, victims of their childhood, victims of whatever. And uh, everyone does that. It's much more fashionable, much more politically correct, much more acceptable in our society to be the victim instead of the perp, instead of the aggressor. It's always bad to be the aggressor, but it's okay to be the victim. And this usually gets out of hand. People often see themselves as victims. Yeah, there's always some excuse. I didn't have time, I didn't have money, I didn't have opportunity. My childhood was so horrible, it's so difficult, whatever. Those are excuses which we know from children, especially school children, why they couldn't do their homework or whatever. Yeah, And we do this as adults as well, unfortunately. It doesn't stop with the end of childhood or with the end of... Um, adolescence, we continue because we have seen it work somehow. Plus, many people think it's great to get empathy or even pity. It's not. It's actually horrible. Pity and empathy are horrible things because they keep you small. They keep you in your delusion of not being able. I can't. It's too difficult. What what can I do? That's, in India, there's this saying, what to do? Yeah, there's a lot to do. But if you give up immediately, then of course not. So I invite you to look inside and observe yourself to look for signs of victimhood, of victimaritis. If you can't, ask your closest friends and family, uh, for example, uh, your wife or your husband, best friends, to have any, to display any signs of victimhood, to often seem to crave empathy, to often play the poor me. And when you find it, stop doing this. It's a horrible collective disease that you need to get rid of on the way to awakening and enlightenment. You need to get rid of this victimhood stuff. It has to do with boundaries also. It's a very healthy thing to learn how to set boundaries. How to not overstep boundaries of others and how to not let others overstep your boundaries. But first you have to set them. Otherwise you will stay a victim and you will have a big sign on your forehead. I'm a victim. Please exploit me. Um, certain kinds of people will feel this. They will kind of like a dog can smell fear. A criminal can smell victims. And if you think of yourself as a victim, then of course you project this outwards. And then no wonder that you get treated accordingly. So only because it's acceptable in our society to be the victim doesn't mean it's good. And in the end, there is of course no victim. Yeah? It's a dysfunctional diet, a dysfunctional duality between victim and aggressor, victim and perpetrator. And this disappears once the victim disappears. If there's no victim, there will be no one attacking. 
the aggressor, the perp, will also vanish. So with being a victim, you provoke victimhood. You provoke aggressors to victimize, to brutalize you. It sounds harsh, um, but it's also the truth. So stop being a victim if you're not aware of it. Ask others or do one session of psychotherapy or something and ask the psychotherapist how your victimhood looks like. Most people do it. Don't think immediately, oh, uh, that's not my thing. It probably is in one way or another. It can be very, very, very clandestine, very indirect, hidden. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me as a Patreon. Thank you for those who have already joined me as a Patreon. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and see you soon.